Hey Gemini, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so much for joining me. I do greatly appreciate your viewership, your engagement, your likes, subscriptions, your comments. They greatly benefit my channel. So please keep them coming and thank you in advance for that. All right, Gemini Collective. This is a general reading for the Gemini Collective. Only take what's yours, leave the rest for someone else. Put the rose if you need to. Could be someone around you I'm picking up on. Could also be past, present, or future energy. So please do not try to force anything to fit that's not your story. Only take what resonates. Let's get into your message of the day, Gemini. What do we have here? The unknown, number five. Knowing the unknown. Hmm. So some of you, your intuition. Your intuition is very keen. Some of y'all are truly um, spiritually in tune right now. This could just be who you are. You know, Gemini, you represent two minds. You know, you represent being able to see things on the subconscious and the conscious level. You represent being able to see the light and the dark. You represent being able to see the good and the bad. You represent choice. You represent that choice to follow the heart. You know, so this is about you knowing the unknown. There's something that um, could be happening for you, unfolding for you that has yet to happen that you're completely aware is going to happen. You're aware of it, even though it hasn't happened yet. I feel you um, like a portal opening for you, but you're unafraid of it. You feel very much like you're approaching it with um, confidence, like you know it's going to be okay. Even if you're facing some challenges, even if you're facing some difficulties or something might turn out to be more complicated than you are going into, you know, perceiving and thinking, you're going to be just fine. I feel you kind of like fearlessly. You're feeling fearless. Fearless. Like, I mean, look how small she is to this. Um, I don't know. This supposed to be like a statue, an angel. I don't know. But it's like you're going through this this corridor you're crossing over this threshold here into something unknown and it looks it can be intimidating and scary but i feel like you're boldly facing it whatever it is so let's see what's going on with the gemini collective if i can stop dropping my cards we can get this started i'm not as experienced in love as you are i'm way out of my league so that's what it is some of y'all this is a love situation and there's somebody here who's like a giant in love and you feel very in comparison you feel like you don't have the same level of um, experience or expertise as this person could be the other way around flip it like you you know how you need to we have double date some of you could be going on a double date. You could be getting introduced to someone through a friend or maybe you already were. You have like mutual friends here. You could be going on a date with someone who wants to do more than one thing. Or you could be dating multiple people, but there could be someone in particular that's winning over all the rest of the competition. Okay. We have the reality of our breakup has yet to fully hit me. I fear the day it finally does. So yeah, the unknown might be that you're dating again after coming out of some other situation on the prowl leo aries sagittarius thriller the chase passion but non-committal some of y'all may have been in a player energy i think i told y'all this the other day and yeah you were with someone and i was saying that you know you felt like it wasn't going anywhere it was just you know superficial and physical and you may have said you know i'm just gonna play around but some of y'all then went out here and played around or somebody did this with you and then fell in love <laughs> They act around and fell in love. All right, what's I'm not as experienced in love as you. Double date and reality of a breakup has yet to fully hit me. The higher fun. There's a commitment, and you are very clear, and it is very shocking and sudden. It's a shock to your system that somebody done got you out here with your nose open wide or, or Gemini. You're doing this to somebody else. Could be a Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, a Scorpio, or an Aries. Somebody here that either you didn't talk it to. And stirred up all these feelings inside of them that they don't know what to do. But they feel like, you know what? I know where I stand. I stand with Gemini. Or this is your energy. Because you are the king of swords. You have clarity about where you stand with someone. And you want to be fair to this person. You want a commitment with them. Something conventional that maybe goes against your nature. Or like I said, it's the other person. I'm reading energy, not people. If I say it's you and it's the other person, just flip it, y'all. Just flip it. What you don't see coming. Studying you about to make a move. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Some of y'all, y'all are the, this, you know, this person here. The page represents, this is the page of Swords, which is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. It represents a younger energy. You could be dealing with an older feminine. 
could be a masculine, but an older person who's more experienced. Maybe they've been married and you haven't. Maybe they've been in long-term commitments and you haven't. Flip it if you need to. All right. Don't be beholden to the story I'm saying as far as how I'm reading the energy, because it could be the other way around. But somebody's watching you. I'm sure. It could be that this person is watching you and they see you as this big person. They're down here thinking, wow, I want to get my hands on that. I want to get my hands on it. All right, let's see. Gemini. Lost a bet. Gambling. Counted you out. Proven wrong. Eating crow and humbled. Okay, we don't have to clarify that because I'm not picking up on that intuitively. I mean, it could be the past person I, tell, I told y'all the other day that you were walking away from. Maybe somebody felt like you were never going to get a relationship right, but you found the one that you want to do it right with. Okay, I'm cautious and careful with you because I don't want to hurt you. I keep asking myself if I'm really ready for a connection this deep. I have to be really sure this time around. Yeah, somebody also around you, I feel like can bet you that either you were going to fall in love with someone and you were like, I ain't never fallen in love and now you have. Or it could be the other way around where they told you you never were going to get love right and now you are. It says on blast, exposed, out in the open, called out in a revelation. So expect somebody who's watching you or for you to get the carriage to actually step to this person who's being very cautious or you're being very cautious. Whoever's being cautious is ready to step up and expose these feelings. But they're just considering it right now. Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords, wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. And the star, something about the connection feels like it might be complicated. I'm going to clarify that. But there is hope. Somebody's very hopeful that they can take this mask off, expose their feelings. This person has maybe come out of a toxic situation. Could be an Aquarius. You got two Aquarius cards here as well as Sagittarius. I do feel like this is a person who's closing out some other kind of cycle. Maybe they're hiding this from you. It could be a situation with a Sagittarius. Or an Aquarius here that they're closing out, but they're hopeful they're ready to date again because you put them in the headspace to want to date again, or this is how you feel. What's the uh ten of swords? This could be somebody working very hard, working multiple jobs over. Yeah, somebody has a new perspective on something that they were dedicated to. They were taking on too much and now they're deciding to let that go. They're releasing. They have a new perspective and they want new love. Whoever this person is, you or your person is ready for some new love. I'm looking for a real someone that set my heart free, real love. I'm searching for a real love. Y'all don't mind my bad singing. I can't help myself. Okay, your challenge. Number four, the emperor. I want to provide for and protect you. Fatherly love and divine masculine. Somebody's overprotective. Probably of themselves. Somebody's lack confidence to come forward. Could be an Aries. Mm -hmm. Challenge. Trial and error. Learning by making mistakes. Experience is the best teacher. Process of elimination. A lesson learned the hard way. So some of you are dealing with a Libra who learned a lesson the hard way. Or that could be your energy. Coming out of some kind of toxic situation. Maybe somebody was controlling in a previous connection. Or somebody did not feel empowered in a previous connection. And they're afraid to get in something again. Again, remember we had the eight of swords. It came out in reverse. I mean, if somebody's coming out of this trapped energy, they don't want to be trapped in the situation. They don't want to be taken for granted like they were in a previous connection. Or they fear that. Which we don't see coming. I mean, I'm sorry. What your challenge is, good cop, bad cop. It says playing both sides, a setup, manipulation, coercion, mind game. Someone may be playing friendly to get you to lower your guard, then use your vulnerability and, turn, and trust against you again. This person is fearful of losing control. That's what the emperor is. It's someone who tries so hard to control everything because they don't want to lose control. Um, we have it survived. You got good juju. Um, they think you're energetically magnetic, a deep soul connection, a Gemini or a Virgo. So that could be how you feel about them or how they feel about you again. Take care how it resonates. Let's get some clarity on. Or wands. Somebody wants to marry you. Somebody could have also been in a previous connection, marriage. Some of you live near this person if you're not married or connected to them as far as living together. You live in the same community. You go to the same church, same gym, same educational facility something about the way you two interact has something to do with something outside of love okay could be just that you live your neighbors all right but i do feel like this is a person who wants to marry you and they could have also come out of a previous connection could be an aries or they were with an aries could be an aries who was with an aries prior to you queen of pentacles trial and error this person 
you know what it is about you it's like they had a, another marriage another relationship a commitment that didn't work out but with you they can't let you go gemini they need to walk away from somebody else for some of them others of you this person has come out of another connection again flip it if you need to but with you they can't imagine life without you they want to cater to you they really do want to provide for you and take care of you and nurture you because they feel like you're such a kind loving nurturing person yourself they love the way you look too they think you're very sexy all right good cop bad cop someone playing friendly to get you to lower your guard four pentacles you are guarded so yeah um, either you're guarded or your person is guarded because of somebody taking advantage of them. They can have a tendency to overgive or this could be you. And you're tired of that. Somebody could have been buying somebody a lot of gifts, purses and things like that here. And then they learned how to pull back because this person, you got four, two fours here. You got two fours, which means that this is about mindset. You know, the fours are about stability. The fours are about structure. Um, they are ruled by the emperor. They're also ruled by the death card. And so, yeah, I do feel like this person is like rebuilding. They want structure. They want discipline, all of that good stuff. This is a very disciplined person you're dealing with. The divine masculine. If you're divine masculine, well, you're the divine masculine. Take it how it resonates. What is your outcome with this person, Gemini? Spirit, so please show me Gemini's outcome. I'm determined to have you while wow. a Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Let's do this. What have we got to lose? Wow, Virgo, Gemini, you have all that you need to make it happen. It says go for it. This is the one. Get in the game. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. Fire sign, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer. And then we have little to no effort. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person could be younger than you. You could be younger than them. It says all talk, no action, delays. Communication is slow. I do feel like, again, somebody's watching the other person and taking their time studying you about to make a move. So no effort has necessarily been made in every situation here. Some of you may. Yeah, a break, a pause. Stop rejection and dismissive is here. Could be dealing with a Pisces. There's somebody who's just been contemplating, being introspective, and watching, watching, watching you. Let's see. But they're determined to have you. All right. So we have the five of cups. We have the eight of pentacles. This person, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> they want to cultivate this relationship with you. They want to put the work in. Some of you can work with this person. And I do feel like they're sitting here and they're just kind of like thinking, thinking, thinking like what it feels like to be without you, but also what it would feel like to be with you. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Virgo. Some of them may, may regret that they, I mean, if you look at these cards, it's kind of interesting because it kind of has the same, look at the person, how they're both looking, like they're looking at something that has them mesmerized that they can't get over. This person is looking at this angel or statue or whatever that represents. And then this person's kind of like looking out just into the unknown, which is where we started. This is where we started with you. It's like, you don't know what the future holds, but you know that you want to work on it. Patience is important right now. Cultivation. This is a card of cultivation. Page of Pentacles. Yes. Somebody is willing to... The, the feelings have not ever died. If this is a person from your past or somebody that you never quite got to a commitment with, the feelings have never died with this person. It could be a younger earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This person, I swear to God, they look up to you, whoever they are. And they do feel like they maybe are disappointed in the fact that they haven't made a move. They haven't had the strength to do it. Because look... You are this person's soulmate, cancer energy with the two of cups. They want to invest in you. You feel like a sacred union and they have all this attraction to you and this overflow of love. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Expect some communication, Knight of Swords there. Either you're going to open up to them or they're going to open up to you. They're putting these feelings on blast. All right, y'all. Those are your messages. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment if this resonated. I will have another video going live around midnight. Don't know when this is going to go live. It all depends on how long YouTube takes to upload the videos. It can be a, a pretty tedious process, but I'm going to try to get it up as soon as possible. Enjoy it, y'all. Peace.